Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I am going to test the Shinkansen space plane on its intended mission, sending it over to the moon and bringing it back. But we're going to just cheat it into orbit because I don't want to go through the whole refueling process. And we're going to cheat it into orbit fully fueled and then, you know, assume that it has been fueled either be by a depot or by a tanker. And then it is going to have to transfer over to the moon, capture, and then come back. So we will see how that goes. So, without further ado, Alt F12 and set orbit. Um, we'll want an inclination similar to. Well, the thing is, we probably would launch into an orbit that would match the moon's orbit at least. Um, how are we doing here right now? I don't know which. Uh, longitude of ascending node would go. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so we'll use this, this is fine, uh, zero longitude of ascending node seems to be okay. And really we could transfer here. Now I did uh, make sure to put MLI layers on the tanks, <laughs> so we do have that. We do have a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, well we have two fuel cells and fuel cell propellant and hopefully that doesn't have too much boil off. Uh, it obviously should have MLI layers as well. Um, no, it seems okay right now. So, we will see. We only need the vacuum engines. No, oh, let's turn those on. So, the goal here is to air break when we come back such that they're not going to be spending much time in the radiation belts. That's a little bit hard to deal with right now. Oh, uh, we do have in this install... There we go. We've got the radiation belts because of Kerbalism. So, yeah. Not spending much time in those. Uh, so we will see. I think Kerbalism will actually keep track of their radiation. So currently they have zero. <laughs> uh, and hopefully we have all the supplies and all too. And we will see how that goes. So, yes, we're testing the radiation aspect. Really, really. Um, maybe around here we can head out. We weren't perfectly in line, so we do have to make an adjustment. Well, we'll, we'll go around this way. And have a pseudo free return trajectory, not quite a full one. At least the potential for one. Okay. Here we go. Up. Here we go. On to the moon. Delta V-wise, we're pretty good. Boil off is still a consideration even if we have MLI layers. We'll see how it goes. Presumably it's not going to be hard to add some insulation when the tanks are inside the body and covered with thermal stuff as well. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Okay, we got a crossing the radiation belt message. Uh, so, we're in it. But... Right now I'm correcting here because I overburned and that is because my cursor wasn't in the window. <laughs> I was clicking on something else and I had to come back and that messed it up. Okay, we're still gonna need to do a mid-course correction anyway. Yes, we probably don't want to uh, meet up with the moon when it's over here <laughs> in the wake of the Earth's radiation belts. So obviously we have way more delta V than we need for this, but that's partly because I densified the fuel a bit going with more oxygen rich uh, burns and we filled in some of the nooks and crannies in the wings to get more fuel. So, but also we had added more fuel to begin with. So uh, we really don't want to have to use this much fuel anyway. And in fact, on the way back, we'll probably dump some because if we want to aero capture efficiently, we don't want to be heavy. 
So on that first pass, we got 2% radiation. So that's how much we got going through there. Well, it's better to just use the RCS here. The main engines are too powerful and we don't have small OMS engines. Again, I should add extra RCS ports though to the back. They're 2.4 kilonewton RCS thrusters though. They're not near a light. And since we have to use the fuel anyway, we'll get into a tight orbit and then break that orbit. So not a gateway orbit or anything. Okay, that should be good enough for now. Let's head over to the moon. There's the moon. We just have to turn the camera. There's Earth. And there's the moon. Okay, selling the fuel down. And ignition. And we're making orbit. Oh, uh, uh, okay, that's a negative periapsis. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, we wanted to waste fuel though, so that's okay. We've definitely more than captured. We don't want to land though. Actually, mm, we could, sort of, but let's not do that. We wouldn't be able to get off. Okay, that's an orbit. That's fine. Alright, let's get back. Well, we'll eventually want to be in the atmosphere. I don't know what height. Uh, there's two possibilities. One, uh, we want to be as low as possible in order to get down as quickly as possible without blowing up, of course, uh, but still remain in orbit. Oh. I don't know why I made that sound. Uh, sometimes it's weird. I don't know why it's weird like that. There's no reason for that sound. But anyway. Um, but if it turns out that that's too hot, like going all the way down to low Earth orbit in one go, then what we would want to do is the first pass stay high, and then the second pass get us as low as possible. So the reason being that if we stay high, this, this radiation zone is pretty mild compared to those. So we would pass through those quickly and get the 2-3% or whatever, and then pass again and get another 2-3%. And then uh, finally aero capture down to the low orbit, that will be safer. So yeah, it's complicated. We don't know which way we're going to go as far as how low we want to go on the first pass. You know, aside from the whole blowing up factor. The thrust weight ratio at this point with the main engines is quite formidable, but they do throttle. Not all the way down, obviously. Um, 700 kilonewtons out of uh, 1500. So a little bit less, I don't know why it gives the extra ignition, but a little bit less than 50%, probably like 40%. Uh, I can't see the number. Uh, okay, fine, we'll do the rest with RCS. Well, let's try 80 for a start. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna save once we get out of Lunar SOI. Alright, we've got 1,260 meters per second remaining. We don't want all that. What we really want is just the stuff in this abort system. So that's what we're going to keep. Uh, this section actually has the pressurized tanks for the RCS and all that business, so that's really the RCS propellant that we're looking at there. 500 meters per second. Okay, I'll actually save after having done that.
Okay, let's see what 81 kilometers does for us. Or to us. Oh! Jeb died of CO2 poisoning. Oh no! I forgot the CO2 thing on the... Because uh, I just made the uh, Shinkansen. I didn't make it Kerbalism compatible. We're not going to get a good read on the radiation after all, because they all died. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. Surface velocity is a little bit weird. Probably automatically. It should automatically have a scrubber. The only thing is that um, it has to be configured with a scrubber for Kerbalism. We'll go with 45 degrees. We'd like a lot of drag though, but we just don't want things to blow up. Except for the parachutes, the parachutes are probably going to blow up. We've seen that in the re-entry test. Okay, in the atmosphere. It's not an insta-kill, so okay. Well, except the Kerbal's gone already. Oh, everything's overheating really bad. Oh no. Oh no, wait, those are the parachutes. Okay, that's fine. We should just get rid of those. Uh, somebody made a case for not having the board system at all. I think maybe that's the right idea. Uh-oh. But we're having trouble holding our pitch here. That's not ideal. And the cabin is overheating. Oh, the landing gear is overheating. Oop. That's the forward landing gear. We're going up now. It's gonna take a lot of passes then. I mean, we got to here. But, yeah, that's not a lot in terms of speed. That seems awful hot. <laughs> it's, oh, that's the rear end. It's not showing the front end over here. I'm pretty sure we can't go any lower. But part of the problem was not being able to hold the nose up at lower altitudes. We didn't get the drag that I would have liked. We're hardly getting any drag at all right now. We'll basically end up with this apoapsis. Well, I'm not feeling like we can bring it down too much more as far as the periapsis is concerned, but... Uh... What's going to happen? Not a whole lot, I don't think. Ooh. Okay, so I've got trajectories in here and it's saying that on next pass we'll get to there. Not too sure it knows for sure because it doesn't know about the angle that we'll be approaching in, so... But... Oh, and then it does that. So that might be just time warp. Some asteroids there. Interesting how the radiation belts sort of move along with the rotation of the planet. Maybe if I set it to a higher angle initially, it'd be better? Question mark. Um, let's try 60. The forward landing gear really shouldn't have exploded at all, so... That just needs to be fixed configuration-wise. But so far, yeah, well, we went into the test, hopeful, but it's been a little bit lacking. It's this new version of KSP and Realism Overhaul with it hasn't been great for heat tolerances. <laughs> it's been rough keeping things cool in this version. Especially space planes. 
Now it's maxing out pitch again. It'd probably be better if I sent this fuel into the main tanks for balance, because of course this is forward of the center of mass. Oh no, I don't want you pitching forward. That won't actually do anything heat-wise, but... Just on principle... Oh, we won't do it this way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ro rolling is definitely not good. Oh no. Let me see if just moving these will help. Uh, 60 degree pitch is maybe something it can't do very well. Let's ask for 40 and see if it can deal with that. It's not looking for S turns. Uh, it's very on the edge here, but we are going up. Yeah, it's going all over the place. Now we know it can re enter. It's not. Ah, uh, the forward cabin blew up. Well, I did save it. And I could pick it up, but it's not performing that well as far as the aero captures are concerned. I mean, I'm pretty sure we would be passing through the radiation belts pretty badly on this next pass. Um, so, yeah. The thing about going to the moon is you go through that part really fast. Uh, but if you're at this altitude, you're not going through those quite as fast. So... Result of the test, not good so far. I mean, I could sort of just write in higher heat tolerances and bring it down lower, uh, but I don't have a clear justification for that. Uh, this is about the same heat tolerance as the space shuttle and everything, so... Mm. Well, that is the situation, folks. We can't do anything about it. Physics is physics. So we'll have to see. I'll try and think of something. Uh, we could use some of the spare fuel to slow down ahead of time, right? Instead of dumping that fuel, I could have used it to slow down and then hit the atmosphere. Uh, that's not great, but we can do that. I don't know how much it'll help, but I'll get your thoughts on other solutions as well. So we'll try this again with some other mitigation but for now i'll say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time